I'm Melissa Sardelli, and here's a look at the stories trending on WPRI.com today. Tuesday, June 5th, 2012. New details on the death of a man we told you about last week. The Pinpoint News Tracker shows you John Street and Bellevue Avenue, where 43-year-old Paul Evans fell from a roof of the apartment building back on Friday. Police tell the Newport Daily News Evans' fall was an accident, saying it's common for residents of the apartment building to go on the roof to see a view of the city. Now the latest developments on school budget cuts in West Warwick. A big crowd is expected at the town council meeting tonight after the school committee cuts sports and other after-school activities from their budget. Last night, hundreds of parents and teachers gathered for an informal meeting at the high school to voice their displeasure and concerns. The school committee said they had no other choice due to budget overall and getting cut by 5%. We've been trying to negotiate with the town. That has not worked out. As such, we needed to present a balanced budget, which forced us to cut an additional 1.7, and that was done Tuesday night. The crowd is expected to be much larger than usual, and so they've moved to the town council meeting to West Warwick High School for tonight. We're learning more about a deadly weekend shooting in Providence. Police tell us they have identified a suspect. An arrest warrant has been issued for Giovanni Torres. Police say Torres gunned down Ivan Taveras Saturday night in the parking lot of this car wash on Cranston Street. We're told the men were arguing when the 32-year-old father was gunned down. The killing marks the city's fourth homicide this year. And for all of your up-to-the-minute online news and weather, stay with WPRI.com. Thanks for watching.